again? <coughs> so moving on to adding and subtracting integers, but this time without the number line. Because you know what, if I asked you what's negative 15 plus 20, you're not going to have a pen and pencil available 24-7 to draw a number line or have that much time to draw a number line and physically move 10 things to the right or left, right? And what if we were adding bigger numbers like negative 70 plus 30? Would you have time and uh, space to draw a, right, a number line from that number, like from 0 to 100? No. So we don't waste time. So we use number lines to understand what adding and subtracting means. And now I'm going to teach you little tricks so you can add and subtract integers without the use of number lines. Sounds good? Yeah. All right. Before we move on to the actual addition and subtraction, there are some rules we need to look. So if you have two signs next to each other, so like a negative and a negative, so basically you're subtracting a negative number or you're adding a negative number, right? So you've got here, you're subtracting a positive number. So can you see you've got two signs next to each other? Yeah. So the first step in these questions is to get rid of the two signs and put whatever they're equivalent to. So if the signs are the same, so it's if it's a positive and a positive, it becomes a positive. <coughs> Make sense? So you can replace two plus signs next to each other with a plus sign. Is that clear? Yep. Again, if, it, if they're the same but they're negative, they again become positive. Does that make sense? Yeah. Why? Because remember, let's say we had a number on the number line and we are we're minusing a negative number. So minus is opposite of a negative. Opposite of moving left is moving to the right. right. Doesn't that make, make become like to add them? Yeah. So that's why two negatives become a positive because we're doing <coughs> opposite of taking away. So what's opposite of taking away? Adding. So does that explain why two minuses become a plus then? Because yeah. what minus does? Opposite. Opposite of minusing becomes plusing. Great? So that's how I remember. If the signs are the same, you add. If the signs are the different, <coughs> you minus. <coughs> right? Why? Because you're adding a negative number. So do the same. So plus says do the same as minusing. Minuses do the opposite of adding. What's the opposite of adding? Minus. Taking away. So does this make sense on, uh, you know, with what we did previous lesson? Yes? Yeah. yes? So the plus says do whatever's next, minus says do the opposite of what's next. So plus and minus <coughs> is negative, minus and plus is negative. In other words, if the signs are the same, plus, plus, plus. If the signs are the same, minus, minus, plus. plus. And if they're different, plus, minus, 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 minus plus, minus. Make sense? Yep. So with all these questions, that's the first step we'll do. So I'm going to replace plus, minus with a minus. Is that the first step? Yep. Then, I kind of like teaching it this way. So let's say positive numbers are nice people. Okay, now don't um, hate me for it. And the negative numbers are bad. bad people, naughty people, right? Okay? Yes. Now, if we had a fight between these two people, who will win? We've got three good and five naughty. Who will win? Five bad. Five naughty. No, five naughty. So the uh, who will win? The naughty people, right? By how much? How much are they more? <coughs> By 2. So, won't it be negative 2? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's how I think. Okay, we've got a 5. 3 good, 5 bad. Who's more? Bad. By how much? 2. So whoever's more wins. By how much? The difference. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's what this says. If the numbers have the opposite signs, so see we had, a, we had opposite signs? Yeah. Because they're on the different sides of the team. One's bad, one's good. Won't we minus to see how much is more? Who will win? Yep. So you subtract them. Okay? So if the numbers are opposite sides, you subtract them because they belong to different teams. So which team will win? The negative one in this case. So the answer has the sign of the bigger numeral. So 5 is more than 3. So you're minusing 5 from 3. So the negatives will win. Does that make sense? Yep. So you see positive negatives as two teams. Let's see this one. First thing, get rid of the two signs. Minus plus becomes... Now, we have a fight again. Positive team, negative team. Which one has more people? Negative. So the final winners will be negative. By how much? One. one. Again, we're just subtracting. So don't worry about the signs. Five take away four is one. But the bigger number is negative, so their term will win. Team will win. Does that make sense? So we have negative or positive numbers. That means they're from different teams. You take away to see who the winner will be. And the team that has more people in it will win. Does that make sense? Now, 
Positive, negative becomes? Negative. negative. Now they're on the same team. So don't you add them because they're on the same team. So you've got six people from the negative team and another one from the negative uh, team. So don't you have seven on the negative team? So that's what it says. If the numbers have the same sign, you add them because they belong to the same team. And the original sign remains. So if the original signs were negative, you have negative <coughs> It's basically you've got six people from the negative uh, team and another one from the negative team. So how many do you have? Seven. Negative seven. So adding the numbers if they have the same sign and subtracting them if they're from opposite teams. Does that make sense? Yeah. Great. A minus minus becomes? Yeah. Plus. Now, are they from the same team or different? Different. different. So will you minus them? Yeah. To see who wins, yeah. what's the difference between seven and three? Four. Four. But which one had more? Negative. So won't the negatives win by yeah. four people? Yes. Technically. Technically. Yes? Yeah. Next one. Again, I didn't give you two signs, so the first step's already done. So you've got 15 in the negative teams, 20 in the positive. How much will the positives win by? Five. So what's the answer? Five. Easy? Yeah. Adding, subtracting, integers made easy. Get on with your work.